Hi, Dyslexic Genius here, Brad Hurt. Our phone number is 864-236-1680, or you can email me at dyslexicgeniushurt at gmail.com. What I'm going to talk about are early Edison home bed plates, like, let's say, class M's, concert machines, early stuff, Edison home, 1896, that's what this is off of. And those bed plates were made out of steel, like this. There's this big chunk of steel. And when Edison made these, they used a punch press, which means they set this in a machine, and they went kaboom, and then they chamfered a few holes and did a few things. But when they punch press them, it leaves a burr. Like when you drill a hole, you get this burr out. And when you paint, this is really minute, the burr. When you put paint on, the paint rolls off the burr and builds up around the hole you're going to paint. So you have to have this smooth. And the way I do that is I use a file when I was doing in here for the belt drive and other parts. If you have a big one, you can come in gently. Or I use my no-go deburrer tool with a 60 degree end in it. And you can just come in here with a no-go. No-ga. No-ga, like that. And it does that, and now the burr is gone. So when I paint, it leaves a little, it smooths out the burr. That's what it's called, a deburring tool. And I can show you, because I did this on purpose on the bottom, because I still have to do a couple of more coats. And you can see here. This is the bottom of the bed plate? This is the bottom of the bed plate. You can see how this smooths, smooths out. Then you come over to this one, and you can see a little bit of shiny steel. That's because the paint came off the burr. It left that up. So now it's not smooth. So what's this mark in it? This mark here, here, and a few other places is rust. So when I took it to the stripper at the corner chem strip, I said, I'd like you to strip it and do an acid dip for rust on me also. And it just ate everything out of, out of it. So when you get to the top of it, now you're seeing the reflection from the paint and I've deburred all this. So these are all nice and smooth now. And there's huge burrs here. I still have to get a little bit more. How'd you, get, how'd you get those burrs off? I, I get the burrs up here with a file. And I will gently come in here like that and file that down. Or maybe I'll use a jeweler's file or a really small file. And before I sprayed, I took my orbital sander here with 320 grit because this is like working on a big giant truck body and you want to smooth it out. And it'll get a few of the rust lines out of the bed plate. So I ran that over with 320 and then polished it out and cleaned it before I gave the first shot of the black on it. When I'm done, then I'll have the little leaves that come out and the lot, small line and gold. It'll look very nice. This is going on at 1896 Edison home. So are you going to pinstripe it? Yeah, I'll pinstripe everything and do all this. You know, this is a lot of fun, but I'm just pointing out what needs to be done in prep to do a bed plate like this. And that's my tip for the day.